from time to time people bring me all sorts of strange things to have a look at and try and repair and today's challenge I've never had anything like this before these are Coriolis model C2 made in China as everything is now when you plug them in the display is a little indistinct but we can see it just says off and I think when we press this 180 comes up flashing and we can see the temperature go up there and indeed they are hot it's working correctly at the moment the flashing light there I guess means it's up to temperature control there that's all working these are working correctly the first time I turned these on it was just flashing and no response from the buttons at all switch it off one again 160 perfect and now it's started to exhibit the problem you go to switch it on and you get the display kind of backlight flashing there and it just goes off I guess it's time to take a look inside having unplugged it of course and see if we can see what's going on looking inside now at the top of the board the on off switch here and the display I'm not seeing anything untoward everything looks good there let's flip the board over mains input and the power supply all appear to be good but when I'm moving across the board here my attention is drawn to this area here that has some discoloration would appear to be the ingress of moisture or something when I'm looking at the IC connections here they're all nice and shiny up until this point here where they go dull clearly moisture has uh, come in here and I'm guessing that this little potentiometer here is for calibrating the unit these little resistors I guess would be voltage dividers for each of the temperatures and I noticed also that in the case there is a small hole which cunningly is directly above the little variable resistor clearly that's how it would be calibrated I guess after assembly unfortunately being in that location any drip of water there is going to drop straight through onto the variable resistor so it's possible that there is some corrosion or at least dirt on that component I think I'm going to take a closer look at it looking with the microscope now Yes, it appears that there is some corrosion on the potentiometer itself, uh, which may be causing a, a poor contact. Moving across the resistors look okay. Once again, though, although these connections here appear to be good, these ones here needing to be cleaned. It looks almost waxy, this material. I guess it could even be some hair product rather than just water or a mixture of all it's only around this part the other parts of the board apart from up there yes if I was a betting person I'd say that something had come in through that hole above there run down the board and along you can see the marks there That side of the board is fine. Let's give it a clean with some IPA. And an old toothbrush. Well, that's certainly looking a lot cleaner now. I've reassembled the unit, I've powered it on and off several times and now it's been on for 
probably 15 or 20 minutes. No sign of uh, the previous problem. I thought I'd check the temperature reading and I found it was 5 or 6 degrees out. Not sure how critical these things are. Uh, just removing the clip off the back, trimming down a cocktail stick, I can get in there and gently adjust the potentiometer. What I'll do before final reassembly is to put a piece of tape over there and hopefully prevent the problem happening again. So let's see now, we're set to, sure if you can see that, 160 degrees. Let's just check with my handy meter. That's pretty much spot on. If I wind the temperature up now to say what it was on before, 180. We can see that it gets up to temperature quite quickly and that's almost spot on 180 as well. All is good. I will do some more testing, just turning it on and off a few times, but I'm quite happy that just removing that corrosion and whatever the other stuff was and cleaning the board has cured the problem. I'm sure they'll be thrilled. Having looked inside, I cannot imagine how they charge, I think it's 170 euros for these things, uh, even if the plates are titanium, which I somewhat doubt.